Ahoy there! You're finally here! I've been waiting for a long time. Even my deck is getting burrs. But this boat! Does this boat even have a deck? This is a dinghy at most! Ha ha ha! Who would have thought that I, the notorious pirate ship commanded by Akko Domeki, would one day end up like this? So, you're a big pirate ship? Uh, but who's Akko Domeki? What? You don't even know who Akko Domeki is? Akko Domeki Simon? Defender of Serai! The name of the most feared pirate ever to sail the seas! Oh, who would have thought? Nope, the name doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> All right, Mitaboru, you told us to come here, so tell us, what is this all about? It feels so weird being called that all of a sudden. Ugh. You see, as I said, I'm here because I drifted here. So I'm thinking my original body must be nearby. It feels strange using the word body. <laughs> but I do need to find it as soon as possible. I've lost track of how long I've been sleeping here, but I'm certain my companions will still be waiting for me. I need to find my body, get ship shape, and return to them as soon as possible. Right! <laughs> Aye, but I can't make it there on my own. After all, a talking ship is just a ship. It still needs someone at the wheel. Let's make a deal. You help me find my body, and I will help you find treasure in return. Treasure? I'm a pirate ship after all. Call it a pirate ship's intuition, or some kind of sixth sense. Either way, the moment I woke up, I could sense that this area is filled with valuable treasures. You have my word. A pirate ship always finds its treasure. Arr, or may I be blighted with barnacles. What say ye, me hearties? Do we have an accord? Let's help me to borrow. If he finds his body and we get treasure in return, everybody wins! <laughs> so? Will you help me or not? Great! Well, there's a place I wanted to go to as soon as I woke up. Based on my pirate ship's intuition, there be some big treasure hidden there. Arr, let's head there and search for it. Time to set sail! The place Mitaboro sensed is right up there! Okay, let's go check it out! Is this really the right place? Um, there's nothing here but a shipwreck. Oh, Mitaboro had better not be lying to us. <laughs> Guess it's time to go back and ask our friend a couple of questions. Yeah. How did it go? Did you find anything valuable? Uh, me to Baru! There's nothing on this island except for a shipwreck! What kind of intuition is that? What? No! Impossible! Ah! I know. It must be because I've been sleeping for too long, and my intuition is not as sharp as it once was. Uh, as the saying goes, nobody's perfect, and certainly no boat's perfect either, right? Cut me a little slack, huh? The next place will be the one. I'm sure the next place will be full of treasure. It better be. No more playing tricks on us this time.
You have my word. But, um... The next place is a little far away, and I'm not sure of the precise location. All I know is that it's somewhere northwest of here. But there are so many islands in the northwest! Oh, you gotta give us a little more than that! Wait a minute. If you mean one of the larger islands, there are only two of them in the northwest. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do sense the cawing of ravens coming from over there. But not just the sound of ravens, no. There be music as well. To be precise, the cawing is coming from the east, and the music is coming from the southwest. So, you're hearing two sounds? Ugh, where could this darn treasure be? But where can you hear the sounds from both islands at the same time? Oh, you're right! Yep, that's exactly what Paimon was thinking, too. Ah, then let's go over and take a look. Ha 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 ha. You know, I must say, it seems you two are quite close. You bet! We've been on loads of adventures together and found lots of treasure before. Ah. If only I'd been able to speak back when we were sailing on the sea, then maybe I would have been able to communicate with my companions just like you two. You seem to have so much fun together. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> All right, time to find the center location of these two big islands. Here we are! This is right in between both islands. There better be some treasure this time! Well! Surprise, surprise! There's nothing here either except yet another shipwreck. Well, half a shipwreck anyway. Was there no treasure this whole time? Um... Oh, but wait, both times Mitoboru thought he was sensing treasure, it turned out to be shipwrecks. <gasps> Does that mean this is his body? Huh, <sighs> not only did it break into two pieces, but the parts are also completely tattered. Hey, why don't we take a picture of the boat and show it to Mitoboru? Then he can confirm whether it's his body or not. We have the pictures. Come on, let's go back and show them to Mitaboru. Mitaboru! There you are. How did it go? Did you find something? Let me guess, you found a huge... Oh, a huge load of nothing. Oh, I dropped the cannonball again, didn't I? Same as last time. Just another shipwreck. Maybe they're parts of your body. We took pictures of them. Take a look. Is this a painting? I didn't know you two could paint so well. Just look at the details down to the smallest blade of grass. It's just like the real thing. We didn't paint this. We took it using a camera. So it was drawn by a machine through some high-speed mechanism. So even the mighty pirate ship has never seen a camera before. What are you trying to say? It's not like I haven't seen similar things before. It's just like the hell paintings in all of those legends. But anyway, what's that thing in the middle of this... picture? That's the shipwreck we found. Take a look. Could it be your body? Hmm. <laughs> ha! <laughs> 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 Impossible.
Impossible. Where did this sorry ship come from? It's a total wreck! You may not know this, but I'm considered as the mightiest pirate ship of the Akodomiki fleet. My hull is made of the best wood found on Seirai Island. The edges of my frame boards were refined with folding saws so that the pieces fit together perfectly. Then they were joined together and reinforced with large rivets, making me indestructible. There's no way I could end up like this. But your intuition led us to shipwrecks twice in a row. It's probably because of the special bond between all boats that draws us to one another. Before they run aground, these ships may well have been self-aware, too. The remnants of their spirit is most likely what I sensed. Anyway, this can't be my body. My body's probably docked at a hidden port somewhere in these waters. You'll see. My side panels are painted with the finest lacquer. Arr, what a majestic sight I used to be. Once we find it, you'll realize how different I am from this shipwreck in your picture. That sounds great! We should go for a cruise together sometime. Ah, that's for sure. I can't believe I sensed the wrong thing twice in a row. The lack of maintenance has really taken the wind out of my sails as far as my intuition goes. You have to apply cork once in a while if you want a long-lasting voyage. That goes for people, too. What the heck is cork? Is it the glue that holds all the parts of the ship together? Ha <laughs> ha! Paimon, you're a funny one, aren't you? No, but you're not that far off. Cork is the stuff we use to fill the gaps between the planks to stop water from leaking into the ship. It's made of rubber or something. Every once in a while, you gotta caulk the gaps as part of the maintenance. Exactly. Which reminds me, I got some good rest when you two went on that little adventure. I'm sure I'll be able to sense where the real treasure is now. Third time's the charm. Time to get serious. We'll definitely find something this time. Paimon sure hopes so. Anything will do at this point. What's wrong, Paimon? You don't sound like you believe me. Anyway, this time, I sense something in the southeast, on the sea surface. It doesn't feel like something very big, and that raises the chances of it being a small but valuable item. Ha ha ha! Come on! Let's go! Mitsuburu felt like it should be somewhere around here. Hmm. Could it be this reef? It looks kinda small. Uh, but let's go check it out anyway. Surely you found something this time. Have I finally convinced you of this mighty pirate ship's razor-sharp treasure hunting senses? All there was was a bird's nest. So, yeah, technically there were a couple of eggs, uh, but that was all. Oh. Just, uh, just the two, you say? Really? So this is the valuable treasure you were talking about? <clears throat> Paimon, you may not be aware, but the mightier the pirate ship, the longer its voyage at sea, you see. Eventually, the only food available on board is dry fish. At times like this, a couple of bird eggs on a reef nearby can easily become the most valuable treasure to a crew. Taboru. Okay, fine. 
But how the heck did I end up sensing eggs? How strange. I swear I sense something. But there's nothing else on the reef. Could it be these two planks? Seems like they were used as a shelter. Hmm. Paimon wonders where they came from. <sighs> I know where this plank comes from. Traveler, Paimon, what you saw just now was my own memory. It was my first time sailing on the sea after I was built. The crew used greased planks to create a slipway, then launched me into the water. The thing is, it's really hard to control the angle at which the bow launches onto the water. It could very well break if you're not careful, which is why most people choose to launch the ship sideways instead. These two planks, or should I say, these two side panels, they must have been the first parts of my body to make contact with the water. Me, Taboru? Um... If your side panels are here, does that mean... Maybe I crashed into the reef here and was shattered to pieces long ago. And maybe the sensation I had when I woke up wasn't some kind of treasure-hunting intuition after all, but me responding to my own body. There I was, making fun of that shipwreck, blissfully unaware that I was actually making fun of my own body. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, how embarrassing. We don't know that for sure. Maybe... Maybe your body is still in one piece. Yeah, these two planks are probably just... Uh, um... Uh, uh, part of your family tree! Yup, could share the same roots. Even if it's not, there are loads of shipwrecks around here. These planks probably just belong to one of them. But... I... Uh, thank you. Both of you. By the way, Mitaburu, wasn't there something about your name mentioned in that memory? Do you remember your name now? Oh, it's a pity. But I'm afraid I didn't see much more than you did. I still can't recall my name. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, it's not too bad. You and the Traveler can keep calling me Mitoboru. It's a good name. <laughs> of course it is! Paimon picked it after all. So... Mitaboru, is there anywhere else you want to go? Although I can sense two more places, I fear it will be the same situation as before. No treasures, only some driftwood. It doesn't matter. Arr, but I swore there'd be treasure in this deal for you. Hey, it's okay, Mitaboru. We're friends now. Well, in that case, whether it's treasure or not, let's hope you two can find something rather than nothing there. Ha <laughs> ha! Good! Let's go to the closer location first. Yep, this is the place. The location I sensed is around here. I wonder what you'll find this time. Well, 
I'll leave it to you. Let's start by taking a look along the coast. Sure enough, no treasure here. Paimon knows that. Paimon just can't help feeling a little disappointed, that's all. There's a wooden sword here. It looks like a children's toy. Hey! The thing I sensed. Could it be this wooden sword? Surely it couldn't be a wooden sword. Me timbers! I remember now! The sea battle between Akotomiki and the Shogunate, and then the lightning that came at the end of the battle. Oh, what could it have been? Will blow me down. Just a fraction of the Thunderbird's wrath, and yet still so powerful. Wait! But the lightning came from Seirai Island. Traveler, have you been there? Do you know what happened to the island after that? No. I can't believe it. It was a truly terrible thunderstorm, it was. Ah, I don't have the words to describe the horror of it. We stood up against the Shogunate precisely because we did not want our homeland to be ruled by them. We wanted to protect the people of Seirai Island. We made an enemy of the Shogunate for the sake of Seirai Island, and in the end... Oh, Shrine Maiden, why? Wait, so that thunderstorm was the reason I... The reason I drifted here. I... I was terribly injured in that storm. My whole body was falling apart. It took all my strength to get here. Ah, Mitaboru. But, what about the wooden sword? What does this have to do with it? This wooden sword is made from a broken timber. Zaimon once seized a sword-wielding Magu with his barbed spear. The Magu drifted here with us. The wooden sword was probably crafted by local children imitating the Magu's sword. The body of the mighty pirate ship that once fought against the Shogunate, now reduced to a children's toy of all things! Ah, my mind is awash with strange and complex feelings. So, Mitaboru, should we take this with us? After all, it is a part of you. No, there's no point taking this now. <laughs> Young scallywags. The little landlubbers got me this time. <sighs> Although it's disappointing now that I remember the truth, somehow I feel relieved, too. At least I know what happened. I won't be deceiving myself with my wishful thinking any longer. The only thing I'm worried about now is my old mates who drifted here with me. I wish I could know how they're doing. Oi, let's hope so. Okay, there's one last place. I can feel it. It's the last piece of my body. Is the last place somewhere around here? Oi, most surely. The precise location seems to be in that house on the beach. 
Wait. Why a house? Don't tell me some landlubbers turned me into furniture! There are a lot of wooden planks on this conch house, but they don't look like what we're after. Oh! Could it be the one on the stone? What is it, though? A board nailed onto two wooden strips? With a wooden mallet next to it? This? Is a musical instrument? Uh, can it really make a decent sound? Why don't we try it out first before giving it to Mitoboru? Pretty sure this instrument hasn't been repaired in a long time. Well, this must be the last fragment of Mitoboru's body. Come on, let's go tell him. You're back. How did it go? Did you find anything? This is indeed my last piece. But what the festering fishbait have they turned me into this time? We think it's a musical instrument, but it hasn't been fixed for a while, so you can't really play anything with it. Is that so? Ah, a pity to be sure. Musical instrument. <laughs> I never imagined that my broken body could be used to play music. It makes me think of my old mates. They used to sing when the mood took them. They'd sit by the beach facing the campfire. Hey, what kind of sound does this instrument make? Why don't you give it a try? Uh, it hasn't been caulked for a long time, so it might not sound as good as you're hoping. It doesn't matter. Satisfy my curiosity. Just strike it and see what happens. But since I was so badly damaged, it was the most I could do to bring them here. There was no way I could go back with them. Ah, oh, it gladdens me hearts to know that they are safe. But I... Even though I said goodbye to them, I still can't help thinking, what if I could have gone back with them? Oh, how I wish we had returned together. With them, I would have been willing to go anywhere. No matter how dangerous. There are so many grand adventures for us to go on. So many treasures out there in the world waiting for us to discover them. Why did I have to be left here abandoned like this? I could do nothing but watch them leave and embark on a new journey without me. Laugh when you feel like crying, and press on when you feel like giving up. That's how you survive out on the ocean. Anyway, thank you for helping me remember all of this. Thank you kindly. I'm afraid, though, that they seem to have taken most of the treasure with them when they left. Yeah! In a way, all the things you sensed really were invaluable treasures. To you, at least. Hi, it's true. Tis a shame I can't repay your kindness. As a ship, there's only so much I can do. But, um, in the future, if I ever need your help again... We'll be here for you, whenever you need us, Mitaboru. Right? Fantastic! Thank you both. 
And if you ever voyage in these seas again, I will be your trusty companion. Didn't Mitsuburu say he wanted to meet us? Let's go find him and see what it's about. Ahoy! Here you are! I thought you'd be too busy flying around the islands with those wings of yours. Bet you've long forgotten your old mate Mitoboru sitting there slowly soaking away in the ocean. We're here now, aren't we? So you said you needed our help. What's up? It's not that important. Remember when you helped me find the missing pieces of my body? How can I put it? I'm not sure if it's because I've fulfilled my wishes, or if these waters are slowly diminishing my ability to talk. Recently, I find myself sleeping most of the time, rather than staying conscious. I see. So it's because of some contraption that I became your wave rider and could communicate with you. Once the effects of the machine wear off, Mitsuburu won't be able to talk anymore? We gotta do something before it's too late! Ha <laughs> ha! There'll be no need for that, Paimon. I am quite content that I had the chance to talk to you at all. Arr, the more I think about it, for me as a ship, to have gotten to talk to you in the past few days, it really is a wondrous thing. The stuff dreams are made of. But no, I need to ask you for one more favor. Remember when I told you that once we found my body, I'd take you for a cruise? Well, it seems my body was reduced to a slew of sorry shipwrecks. And most of the treasure was taken away, leaving nothing good for you. But this time, I swear, as a mighty pirate ship, there be treasure ahoy, and a fine treasure at that. Or else may I be strangled by seagrass and fed to the fish. Just trust me one last time. Well, since Mitsuburu probably won't be able to speak soon... And since there really is treasure this time, let's go! Time to set sail! Ah, come on then, me hearties. Time to come aboard. all of a sudden. Oh, wow, look! There's a lot more lights on the sea! Those lights are from Inazuma. I haven't seen them for many a year. Follow them. They look just like fishing lanterns. I feel like I'm back in the port at Seirai, with the fishing boats lining the harbor at night. Even pirates don't get to go on adventures every day. When he had free time, Zaimon would take us out fishing. He would harpoon fish with his barbed spear. I never saw him miss once. You have the catch with you, don't you? I've sensed it for some time now. Ah, those were good times. I'm sure he's still sailing across the sea, charting a course towards his dreams. Just remember, I've got two things to tell you. First of all, 
I've remembered my name. Wow. So, Mitsuburu... No, wait. Um, so, uh, Mr. Chip? What's your real name? The maiden of Asase Shrine named me Kosekimaru. Most of my mates were from Koseki Village, and she hoped I could take them back to their hometown. Kosekimaru. Hmm. Paimon still prefers me to Boru, but Kosekimaru is a nice name too. But I... I failed them. If only I could have been stronger, I might have been able to survive the thunderstorm and make it back to Koseki Village with my friends safe and sound. just like the one on that day. And so were the Inazuman lights we saw, too. Is this all happening because of me? Fester and Fishbait. I'm going to drag everyone down with me. Come on, me too! Uh, Kofi Kamaru, you can do it! Sail through the thunderstorm, Kofi Kamaru! I am the proud Kusuki Mon, pirate ship under the command of the mighty pirate Ako Domiki. The wood of Seirai made me flesh and bones, and the shrine maiden of Asase gave me my name. I have sailed the seas for decades, never once leaving me friends behind. Even when fighting the strongest foes, I never feared nor faltered. A little thunder and lightning can't stop me! Ha! Watch me. Talking ship is still just a ship. The traveler's superb sailing skill was what saw us safely through the storm. <sighs> I'm afraid I may have triggered the thunderstorm. These waters are less stable than they once were. But we've arrived. Traveler, Paimon, the treasure is right up there. place we first visited when we were looking for treasure? There was nothing here but half of Kosi Kamaro's hole. I am certain that there's treasure up there this time. It's... what did I call it again? It's the intuition of a mighty pirate ship. Wait a minute. You said you had two things to tell us, right? And the first one was that you'd remembered your name. What was the other one? Ha! <laughs> I thought you'd already forgotten. I'll tell you when you come back. Surely the treasure should be near Kosi Kamaro's shipwreck. Let's go and check it out. <laughs> Into the wind. Wow! There really is treasure 